In this one, we're gonna do a little bit of refactoring to change how our comment detail API view works. Basically, we're gonna combine this one with the edit that we did. Um, the way we're gonna do it is by using read only fields and just sticking with that same serializer because we did repeat a lot of stuff. If we look at our serializers, we have our detail serializer and uh, our edit serializer. They're, they're not a whole lot different. The only difference was how we actually want to be able to edit these things. So if we go into our views and we go into our detail view and actually just, we can just swap these out because eventually we're gonna get rid of edit. So I'm gonna change this one to edit and this one down here to detail. If we save that and use the original detail serializer down there too. The new query set though, we're gonna use the other query set that is getting all of the items, not just the, the parent items. So now if we refresh in this comment detail, what we see is we've got content type and object ID. So I can actually change where this is located um, as far as the, the content object is, right? So the content object, we don't wanna be able to change it, meaning I don't wanna be able to change the location of the post um, when we update it. You can do that when you create something new, but when you update it, we don't wanna say like, oh, this is actually on post with the object ID of 10 or something like that. We don't wanna be able to do that. Um, but we still might want to see that that stuff. We might want to see what those things are to actually be able to use that in our application. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into those serializers and I'm going to add in this new meta um, attribute of read underscore only underscore fields. And it's a list of the fields that we want to be read only. It's really simple. So content type and reply count. Uh, we also want object ID. And then finally replies. Timestamp we won't be able to edit anyway. So we refresh and there we go. So now I can actually use this original comment detail API to make those same changes, right? I can no longer change the stuff. So if I try to in the raw data, let's say for instance, I tried to change object ID to 16 hit put, uh, it's not gonna let me, it's not gonna happen. Uh, it won't actually change it. So the object ID did not change and it didn't change here. It looks like everything went okay, but it didn't actually change anything. So it's not actually raising errors um, because if we did change the content, so let's change the content to something else and also try to change the object ID, hit put, the object ID does not change, but the content did. So it's still updating stuff. So it's still successful. It's just not raising an error for it. Uh, so it's just kind of ignoring those things that we just did. Cool. So that means that I now have a comment detail serializer. That's really all I need. I no longer need this comment edit serializer. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it, go into my views and also get rid of the comment edit API view because we no longer need that one either. And then I'm going to scroll all the way to the top and get rid of the comment edit serializer because now we have that detail serializer. Let's make sure that we've got all of our edits done. Oh, and then our URLs, we also want to get rid of the comment edit there as well. And then finally get rid of that last URL. And if we refresh in here, now we've got all the comments and I can actually go into the individual comments themselves, right? So like the child comments, we can actually now take a look at and make changes to. Of course, this is meaning that we also need to add in some permission classes into our view. So we want the user to be the same as the user that's doing this stuff. So the comment user, we want to add that in. Now, if you remember back, we actually created some permissions that we have is owner read only. Um, that's this right here. This is something that we can actually use inside of our permissions for our comment views. So if you remember back into our views that we did here, we imported that permission and then we just set it as a permission class um, down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that permission class inside of our comment detail view. So is authenticated or read only, is owner or read only as well. We're gonna use both of those things inside of the comment detail. And we have to import them, of course. So let's go back into the post URL view. And first of all is the permissions, the default permissions. I think we might already have these actually in there. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and copy everything else. So going back into the view and scroll up, looks like we already have some of those permissions 
Actually, we have all of the permissions already in there. So we did make those changes and we already imported all that stuff already. So the comment detail view we now have is owner or read only. So now if I refresh in here, um, notice it is, it's changing ever so slightly on how it's all gonna work, right? So the detail view and the delete view actually did go away. Um, so let's go ahead and try it out again. So now if I go and I'm, I'm not authenticated, notice I can't do anything in here. So let's actually try and create another comment. Let's see what these comments are from originally. So who they're from originally. They say they're from CFE. So CFE should be able to actually edit these each and every comment. So let's go into comments again and we'll go into comment ID of 10. Go in here, I can make edits to it. So hello there, hit put. All right, and the detail view has changed. We can't actually, the delete has gone away. So let's actually go ahead and see if is owner or read only works. It's, that is also not there. So we might need to update our permission classes, but so let's undo our permission classes. Notice delete and options come back. So we definitely wanna have both of those things. So um, we're gonna have to check this is owner or read only because it might be preventing it in our permissions. And it is my safe methods. So has permissions. I'm gonna go ahead and, well, just get rid of these. I don't need that permission anymore. I really just need that object permission that was just to illustrate it before. So refreshing in here, assuming that we've saved everything in the detail view, now I can actually delete it where when I'm not authenticated, I can come in here and I can still see the detail. So good, that's exactly what it is. That's what we wanted. Um, all right, so if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.